Xin chào, what's up everybody? How you doing out there? Today's video is going to be about sugar babies, sugar daddies, and if you should do it and what to expect if you do do it. Is it acceptable? Are people going to look at you? Uh, all, all the ins and outs about it. We've shot a sugar baby, sugar daddy video before. It's a little bit different from what we're going to be shooting today. I'm going to shoot this on the back side of the How to Meet Women in Vietnam video I did yesterday, which seems to be doing pretty well. Um, so we're going to get all into it and talk about it. If you do like this video and you want to support the channel, go on over to Patreon.com. The first tier starts at $5, second one at $10. It's the best way to support the channel outside of being a subscriber and liking things. If you don't want to do that, you can just leave a one-time tip on PayPal as well. All the descriptions for that stuff, all the links for that stuff is in the descriptions of the video. So either way, if you just want to watch the video, that's all you have to do. You know, that's more than helpful. So. Let's get into it. Let's unpack it. We're on Win Way. I'm on my fifth video of the day. We got one day of no rain, so I'm capitalizing on it and just shooting content. And I've been thinking about this video since yesterday when I shot the Meeting Women in Vietnam video. So first we're going to finish off with that video because it went a little short because it started to rain. So I want to sum that up. I think it's very easy to meet a woman here no matter what your age and what you look like. Like I said, I think the best thing you need to do first is start to work out, work on your body, go to the gym. You don't need to have muscles, you don't need to be in shape, but you need to have that confidence because you're doing those things. So start doing those things and then just go up to women and talk to them if they give you the go ahead. You know, be nice, be friendly, don't be a creep, don't say creepy shit. Be a gentleman. All women want to be treated like a gentleman or like a, like a woman, they want to be treated proper. I mean, some don't, but those women you usually don't want to date. You want to date them for one night if you know what I mean. So, and, you know, just treat women with respect. Treat people how you want to be treated. It's a pretty straightforward type deal. So let's get into the sugar baby, sugar daddy. It's a very big thing in Asia and Southeast Asia mainly. I mean, it's gigantic. You'll see it everywhere. You'll see a, a tremendous looking woman with a... 60 year old dude that's not tremendous looking like this guy up here this is not how you want to look if you want to pick up chicks here no offense if you watch my channel i love you dude maybe this will give you some pro tips but this is the exact guy i was talking about yesterday fat belly got a tight polo on got nike shorts on oh, red shoes and red shirt nope 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 these are all the things you don't want to do so immediately if i was this guy i would ditch all the red i'd go to h m i'd get some dress down shirts I'd get some nice shorts that are fitting. Make sure everything fits to your body. You don't want that big belly hanging out. You don't want that to be the, the talking point of first meeting someone. So, and definitely don't theme color your outfits in all red. So let, let, let's get back to the sugar baby, sugar daddy. So yeah, you'll see it all over. You'll be walking around. We might even see one when we're walking around here. Well, you'll see like a 60 year old guy with a, a hot 20 year old chick. And usually, for the most part, you'll see the chicks smiling, the dudes smiling. They're, they're both happy. Now just know that this is a business relationship that I think can come into fruition of actual love. I know quite a bit of people that are in these relationships and most are happy. Now I know a couple of really creepy, scummy dudes that are in these relationships that, that have like a, a, a girlfriend they've been with a long time. And they'll go out on the weekends with tons of other girls every weekend. They'll, they'll be out on a date with like another girl as their girlfriend calls and try to get their friends to like vouch for where they're at. It's all insanity. I actually stopped associating with a guy over that that maybe has a restaurant somewhere over in, in Vietnam in Saigon. I'm not going to allude anymore. We'll just leave it at that. But yeah, if you're going to enter one of these relationships, just know that like say she's in... Uh, Mekong, right? And you want her to come live in Saigon with you. You're going to be paying to supplement whatever she's already making in Mekong. So at least expect to pay whatever she was making in Mekong. Oh, these guys are over here now. These guys are like faster than me. Now they're taking cosplay girl photos. I don't know how they keep meeting these chicks to take photos. <laughs> but they're just chasing the women. Oh, she's cute. Her cosplay outfit's good. These guys are good at getting them to take a picture, though. I like wonder what it's for. Let's have her as the thumbnail. Hold on. He's telling her how to pose. 
This would be perfect. Doop. Thumbnail. Done. So just know that you're going to have to like supplement the income for wherever she's making. If you're, if you, if you're going to say, hey, I want you to come from Mekong and come up and live with me in Saigon, you're going to be paying her a stipend every month. And then expect that she's going to want an iPhone 14. And guess what you're going to be doing? You're going to be getting her an iPhone 14. You know, I know quite a few dudes in these relationships, and a lot of them have come to loving marriages where, like, he's still buying shit, but, like, it's become more like of a... an actual relationship to where, like, they're buying land together, then selling the land after a few years and making a profit, like where it's not just all about like a sugar baby, sugar daddy type deal. It is widely accepted here. I don't care if you do it. I have no idea what it would be like to be 16 and want a hot chick and not look the hottest and yada, yada, yada. So for me personally, I condone it. You know, whatever makes you happy. If you've got the money and you want the hottie, this is one of the best places to come and do it. Other places where you can go and do it is Philippines is notorious for this as well. I mean, notorious. Thailand, not as much, but I'd say the two biggest countries that are biggest for it is Vietnam and the Philippines. I'm, Philippines, dare I say, it's even more. Like, dare I say. You know, buy the, buy the uh, young bride-to-be a, a pig farm for the family, build a house for the family. You know, this is, this is as to be expected when these things happen, if you're like a 45-year-old dude marrying a hot 18-year-old virgin <laughs> in the Philippines. So, just know that that's how it is, but I think over time, a lot of these relationships do well, and then a lot of them fall apart as well. It all depends on how you guys get along through the long run. But the, the signs to stay away from, even if it's like a sugar baby, sugar daddy thing, if she's asking you to pay for too much shit out of the gate. Like if she wants to move in right away and says she won't move in until you get married, these are what we call red flags. That is a very old thing of the past that hasn't been followed in a long time. I'd say 15, 20 years since it's been that the, the girl can't move in unless she's married you first. So if they start playing that game with you out of the gate, I'm, I'm telling you right now, that is not the one for you. Even if it's a great, what you think is a great relationship. If she's saying she can't live with you till you guys get married, red flag. And that is a red flag you can't avoid, nor should you avoid. It should be something that you fully, fully see as a red flag and completely walk away from. And then if she's asking you to pay debt like debt right away like there's one thing about going into a relationship and buying her an iphone and a gucci bag every once in a while and giving her a stipple of money each month to spend like essentially an allowance sure maybe you're giving her 10 million a month but once she starts asking for all that shit and then on top of it she wants you to pay a bunch of bills run forest run run forest run just get away from that as quick as you can it's not going to lead to anything good it's going to be what you call money 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 pot she's going to take you for everything and it probably won't end well and definitely don't move too fast you know don't be asking a girl to marry you like within two months like this is these are not good ideas you need to live with someone for like six months to a year you need to be with somebody for a while see how their mannerisms are and you're still not even going to know shit after a year it takes many years to see how somebody really is so just just take the slow path understand that what it is and first before you try that even if you're an older guy follow my steps of just working out being in shape getting your talking game up and just like cold talking to women out in real life and if you're a 60 year old dude and you want an actual real relationship that's not paid don't choose a 20 year old girl. Why would a 20 year old girl wanna be with a 60 year old guy? Just think about it. If you wanna actually meet someone that's viable that you wanna be with, look for a 35 year old woman or a 30 year old woman or a beautiful 40 year old woman. There's so many hot, beautiful 30 to 40 something year old Vietnamese women. There's no reason to be an ageist and look for just younger girls. Now no, if you want that younger girl, it's gonna be a pay for play scenario it's as simple as that and if you're telling yourself it's any other way you're delusional if you think you're some stud at 60 or 65 you're delusional you're literally living in a, in a, a delusion you're lying to yourself so now if you're not an ageist you'll be fine you'll meet a 35 year old 40 year old something maybe she'll have a kid or two 
But again, you can read the red flags right away. If she's asking you to pay for her kid's shit and wants to move in right away, she's not the one. So like, just read your red flags. Don't walk away from red flags because maybe the sex is good or something. See them red flags, know them red flags, live in them red flags, and then just walk away. It's sometimes really hard for men to walk away from stuff, even if it's a new relationship. You gotta walk away though if the red flags are there. It's the best thing you can do from yourself. Learn from your past, move forward, and prosper. So I mean, we're kind of keeping this video a little simple, but yeah, the things to avoid if you're getting into a sugar babes relationship. What is this guy doing? What are these police officers doing? Oh, diplomat. So diplomatic. So this is some kind of diplomatic right here. I can't see the other country flag. So this is your diplomatic right here, is my guess. And they're escorting this diplomat. Yeah, there that is what it is. So you can tell by the flags on the front of the car. You rarely see those, but I know what it is when I see it. So yeah, it, it, to go over it again, to reiterate, is, you know, it's okay to buy her a Gucci bag, take her shopping, have her on a, an allowance, but if she starts asking you to pay family debt, if she wants to move in right away, get married, won't move in without you getting married, these are all red flags. Run, forest, run. We're gonna keep it kind of simple. We're not gonna get overly complicated with this. I kind of want to keep it to a low minute. I don't want to be too much over like the 13 minute mark. We're right at 12, so. I think you can do very well on that system though. I know a bunch of dudes that are doing that system and they're they're happy. They're they're in a great relationship. Things are working out fine for them. So you can follow suit no problem the same way. So that's the video. If any of you guys have information to add, if any of you are in those kind of relationships, leave a comment. If any of you have been in a red flag sugar baby sugar daddy relationship, leave it in the comments. If any of you are a older gentleman that's in a proper non-ageist relationship, leave that in the comments as well so i hope that helps some of you dudes if you want to support the channel you can sign up for the patreon if you want to like that video if you did smash the like button if you want to comment comment if you want to subscribe that's the best way to help me outside of supporting me on patreon or leaving a tip through paypal if you didn't like the video and you found me to be annoying and stupid and whatever else you can leave a negative comment you can hit the dislike button. You can unsubscribe and then find a different YouTuber in Vietnam. There's hundreds of us. So thank you for watching. Hope this helps somebody. Stay frosty. See you on the next one. Peace out.